and welcome to the Irish in the UK. This week we're coming to you from the Liverpool Fesh. We are here at the beautiful setting of the Pier Head. Now Vince Power and his team has put on a wonderful array of musical talent today and we are going to go and enjoy ourselves. And we hope that you'll enjoy the show at home as well. We've got some wonderful guests for you tonight. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Now I'm off to meet the man that matters, Vince Power. When we're all having fun with friends We don't want this night to end We want to hear you sing along If you know the words, let's sing a song Here we are Vince, a beautiful day in Liverpool and all your planning has come to the end Oh, uh, it's come to the end of the beginning of the end. <laughs> Listen, we're looking forward to a wonderful day. You've got a great, great lineup of artists here today. Thank you. It's a, it's a brilliant day as well. It's like it's, it's, you couldn't expect better weather. And, you know, it's nice to see everybody come in happy. And, of course, you put 12 months or even more into this now, planning this day. A lot of work has gone in behind the scenes. Of course, everybody has, really. I mean, I obviously, I've been responsible for, for doing it. But, you know, there have been a lot of people that's helped. And... Uh, this is the product of it now. Yeah, absolutely. Why did you choose Liverpool? Because I, I was in London, I was doing London, and I was up in Liverpool on a meeting, and uh, somebody suggested that from culture in Liverpool said, uh, we think a, a big Irish festival would go down well, and they knew that I did big Irish festivals, and yeah. that's, how, that's how it happened, really. And, of course, it's great for people up here in northern England, in Leeds, Manchester and Liverpool, of course, to have a big fish like this today. Yes, it is. It's, it's fantastic. and People are so excited about it. Now, you're a man that's very much in demand today, and I'm probably not the right time to ask you, but I know you're always a man that's looking ahead, and I think you're kind of looking ahead to a fish next year and thinking about it at the moment. I think so. I think we're going to do it next year. I mean, this is a, this is a great sight. It's difficult, but it's a great sight. Well, listen, uh, Vince, thank you very much for the great work you put in, the great entertainment you put on for us all here today. And we look at it, it'll all go really well. It's a glorious sunny day and people are here enjoying themselves at 12 o'clock. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Are you looking forward to going on stage? Oh God, yes. Can't wait. I'll be on. I've like 45 minutes to get on and get it together and get changed and do my set list. I just arrived, but I'm really, I love Liverpool. I always have done. It's a great place. And of course you're performing here tonight. Lots of your friends with Van Morrison and Damien Dimsey. You've performed with these guys down the years, haven't yes. you, and done so much. Do you know, I, I just arrived and I'm, I'm going into every all the rooms saying hello to everyone. It's like a little community, it's lovely. Because you know, musicians are great people, I think. We're personable, I like to think. And it's nice to see everybody and, you know, you bump into each other on the way, but it seems like everyone's on this. Absolutely. On this festival, it's and phenomenal. Vince Power is a great man, he's good ideas and he's always been very supportive of me. You've done a lot of work with Jones Holland, haven't you? Yeah. And he's a great, great guy as well and, and fantastic musician. Jules, he's amazing. Yeah, he's a phenomenal guy and a good friend and he's been very supportive of me. I'm very lucky, yeah. Have you got any uh, plans now going back into the recording studio and doing some new songs? Well, I'm writing now, so um, as soon as possible I'll be getting back into the studio once I'm ready. Not quite ready yet. Well, look, at Vince Power has put so much effort into today. He's a great man, yes, he's brilliant. Yeah. And I'm delighted that it's been a big, huge success for him. Oh, I am as well. Well done him. He's been very good. He gave me gigs when, when I looked for gigs and no one would give them to me. I gave Vince a call and he put me into little clubs around London and he's always been supportive. <laughs> Let's go on the banks of the roads. 
Nathan, great to see you here on this special day in Liverpool. Yeah, delighted to be here. This is the biggest festival I've ever seen uh, happening in Liverpool. Uh, no, I haven't been to many of them, but uh, this is the first one I've been involved with and I'm, I'm delighted to be here. The Fesh, it's called, it's the first time it's happened um, and what an honour it is for me to be uh, on such a huge lineup with acts like Van Morrison, uh, Finbar Fiori, Imelda May, Sharon Shannon, Shane McGowan. The list just seems to go on and on and on. And of course you grew up here in Liverpool and uh, it must be great now to go on stage here in front of your own home people. Yeah it is, yeah. I mean I don't get to do many gigs in Liverpool. I do the Philharmonic once a year uh, but I've never done an outdoor event like this so it's, it's really a, a, a big coup for me to come home and be able to play at such a prestigious event like this. And we know that you've just flown in as well. You're only here on a whistle-stop tour because you're a busy, busy man. Tell us, like, what's happening with you now over the next few weeks and coming months. Yeah, I'm only here for one day. I was at the uh, the Irish Open, the golf tournament, last night in Donegal. We played at the after show for that. Uh, tomorrow we're in Meath, County Meath, in the Knightsbrook Hotel. Um, but we're going to do a lot of concerts and, and festivals over Ireland over the next couple of months. And then we're coming back to England to do a tour in September. Uh, taking gigs in like uh, some brand new gigs like Preston Guild Hall for the first time on the 14th of September, that's a Friday. Um, I'm right up to Scotland and Inverness, Glasgow, all over the UK, so we can't wait. you had a very successful tour of Germany earlier on in the year, didn't you? Yeah, I went there for the first time. Germany was the first. Uh, we did seven gigs in seven days, which was intense, but it was great fun. Uh, only small, intimate venues, and it, for me it was like going back about ten years and starting again. You know, the people had never seen me or never heard of me, so it was great fun, and it, it, me and myself and the band really enjoyed it, and delighted to say we're going to be going back to do a bigger tour. Uh, earlier next year so looking forward to that and of course you keep rolling out the songs in the meantime and you've had quite a lot of songs this year how are they all doing for you it's one after the other isn't it it's like a conveyor belt yeah yeah i just try and put out songs every couple of months you know uh, i released my last one was give it to me which i wrote with john farry my manager um, i've been in the studio recently to do new songs for a brand new album which hoping to get out for august a uh, brand new album so Excellent. Now, if people wanted to find out a little bit more about your UK tour, how can they do that? They can catch all my information at NathanCartonMusic.com. Uh, I'm on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and you can catch all the dates on social media as well. Tommy, you're over from County Mayo today. What's it like to be here performing in Liverpool? Well, I'm really delighted to be here in Liverpool. There's a great atmosphere and uh, looking forward to performing on, on stage three this afternoon. So it's, it's, it's really good to be here. Yeah, well, absolutely. And of course, you're going to be treating the crowds to a special little bit of Shannos dancing. Exactly. So it's something a little bit different, not something you usually see at, at a festival. So the Shannos, hopefully we'll, we'll get the crowd going and they'll really enjoy it. And listen, everybody's up for a bit of fun. It's a fun day today, isn't it? And we saw you there earlier on. You're teaching a few people already. <laughs> That's it. Well, everyone uh, is in a great mood. The sun is shining here in Liverpool, Liverpool, so you couldn't ask for anything more. And I suppose there's a great lineup of all the all the other artists as well today. So there's a great uh, a great buzz around. <laughs> Of course, a great achievement for you coming over from Ireland to teach us, teach us all here a little bit about Shannos dancing. But how popular is Shannos dancing in Ireland? It's becoming really popular. So there's a big revival the last couple of years. Uh, lots of people have started doing it. And there's something about the Shannos that's different. It's kind of free form. It's a natural kind of dance and uh, older than our river dance. So it's nice to keep that tradition alive and kind of spread it all over the world. 
well, speaking about all over the world, of course, you're nearly all over the world teaching the Shannos dancing, aren't you? Yeah, so this year I've been really lucky. I, I was in Canada in May uh, at the Spring Rain Dance Weekend. That was really, uh, really good to be there uh, teaching Shannos, performing at concerts. And uh, it's great to see the tradition being passed around the world. And I suppose I was in Manchester too and looking forward to being back again in March for St. Patrick's uh, festivities as well. Yeah, well, it's great to see Shannos dance and a new type of dance and been introduced here to us all. It's a little bit of different entertainment. Exactly, it's something different, something that people really get behind and enjoy. There's something about the music that's really upbeat and uh, people seem to get behind it. Now, if people wanted to book you or find out where you are or wanted to, uh, wanted to do a gig with Shannos dancing, how can they do that, Tommy? Well, they can visit my website. It's Tommy Stenson, shannosdancer.com or they can check me out on Facebook. It's Tommy Stenson, Shannos Dancer. be rocking all night okay <laughs> well listen while these crew are rocking we're going to take a quick break see you in a minute Yay! it's been a hard day's night and i've been working like a dog Oh, I think it's time to welcome you all back. We're having a wonderful time here in Liverpool. We hope you're enjoying the show at home. And I'm off to meet some more people. See you in a bit. What a performance today with the sun beaming oh down. Oh my God, it reminded me of olden days in the Flan and Finsbury Park. Yeah, it was brilliant, brilliant, lovely day. And it's great to see such a big, big crowd here. I know you're a personal friend of Vince Powers, of course, and he's done so many, so many of these events. I did 17 out of 20 flas, and this is the first of many feshes in Liverpool, I believe. So um, we're doing, going to rehearse now later on. I'm doing a duet with Finn Barry, and then we're going to do a ride on for the big encore at the end of the night with a huge band on stage, all-star lineup. No. So. Now, of course, it's been a busy year for you, and you just come back from tour. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we did 13 gigs in England in April, and then we did um, a five-week tour of uh, Australia and New Zealand. Then I did a couple of festivals in Ireland. Now we're here, and I'm going back now to start rehearsals on my show next week, which is called Woman Undone. And I'm working with a group called Broken Talkers and an Icelandic producer called uh, Valgir Sigurdsson, who's worked with Björk and everybody in the past. Björk and that opens in Dublin in November. How long will that run for? It'll run for 15 nights initially and then we'll take it on the road. My goodness, there's no rest. It's gone around the world. Now, of course, look at, you're really very busy as well and you've made so many albums, so many songs as well. Um, I, have you got any time for going back into the recording studio again? I am going to, we're going to, well, we're recording this as a soundtrack and all of the show has been sung and um, I'm, going, I'm doing a couple of singles when I go back with a guy called Alton Conlon. He's a really great singer from Ireland. And Alton and I are doing a duet next month. Beautiful song that he wrote. When the routine bites hard And ambitions are low And resentment Paddy, what was it like out there playing to this big crowd here in Liverpool? <laughs> 
God, I didn't expect such a crowd. And uh, it was kind of a little bit rushed because uh, somebody had gone over time before us, you know. Yeah. So I wanted to keep it down and, you know, and I wanted to get in everything. I wasn't going to lose out because that crowd were a wonderful audience, you know. They were fabulous and, and uh, it seemed to go down well, you know. So I'm very happy in the end, you know. And a special day for you as well because your grandson come on stage with you. He did, he came on, you know, and I was so fussed at the end because they were get, telling me to get off. <laughs> but he came on with the power on and played the power on. So uh, that was his first time in, on stage, in fact, anywhere, you know. And look, it's great to see the Chieftains back here in the UK. And of course, their music is legend, legendary, isn't it? It's gone, it's gone back now 57 years, you know. So uh, uh, it's time we came back. I think we, for our 50th year, we, we did a... Um, we did a special tour of the UK, you know? Yeah. So uh, I think it's time for us to come back and do another one, you know? And of course, you're the original founder and the, and the man that was there right at the beginning. Yeah. What does it seem like now, with all the success you've had down the years and, you know, you've made so many albums, so many songs. When you look back on it, it must be fantastic. Yeah, it's 56 albums and, and 57 years on the road now. But uh, even before that, you know, even with Barney McKenna, who was with the Dubliners, of course, but he was with us before he went to the Dufferinars and in fact you know, he grew the beard and off he went and I said thank you Barney you know but uh, that was in the 50s late 50s and that sort of thing in 1950s but uh, it's just been a smashing journey you know and what, what can I say it's just continuing on you know we have next year to look forward to next February March now another five weeks in the States and and the King of Spain has given me a medal next week, would you believe, for San, Pe San Patricio, or this San Santiago album, you know? Because it won a Grammy, one of our six Grammys. <laughs> Sean, have you enjoyed playing to this massive big crowd here today in Liverpool? Absolutely, it was a great experience and we sing about Liverpool, one of our songs, one or two songs mentioned Liverpool and we've been advertising it uh, in our own way and a great crowd turned out and we met some people afterwards, shook our hands, wanted pictures taken and it's been obviously a great privilege and pleasure to be here. Well, absolutely, and the crowd really responded to you, didn't they? Yes, a good reception. We sang, did lively things, lively numbers. Lively and, numbers. Uh, and people were swaying and dancing. Well, that's the stuff. Now, Jerry, tell me a little bit about the music that you play. Well, the music that we play is uh, part and parcel, I think, of Irish music going back hundreds of years, and uh, the Dubliners popularised it. And I think, in my opinion, became the first real sort of super group in uh, before the word was even coined yeah. uh, as young men and uh, as young man Sean is we're keeping it going and uh, trying to keep integrity into the music you know uh, the people know the songs anyway so we don't have to do too much with them in terms of arrangement or anything like that we try and stay close to the heart with them and uh, let the songs sort of sing for themselves almost I hope I heard a young man calling. Songs tell their own stories, and of course, you songs, it's, they've been all over the world. We all know them. Yeah, and uh, with the immigration as well, people have taken these songs uh, with them, uh, you know, to cities all over America, Australia, and. Uh, I think uh, when we joined the EC, one of the factors that was unbelievable was, uh, and very important was that a lot of the Danes and the Germans and the Swedes and the Belgians and the French discovered Ireland during the, uh, the sort of the flower power, the folk boom, and they became really, really interested in the music as well. It just did something for them, and it's one of the last outposts for organic music in Europe. And uh, their children and their grandchildren are coming along to our concerts now when we tour in Europe. Great to see, great to see. And Shay, of course, you do a lot of travelling and touring now, don't you? We do indeed. Europe would be our, our, our biggest market, as Jerry said. We're very, very popular in Denmark, Sweden, Norway, all the Scandinavian countries. Germany is big, Holland is very good to us. 
Uh, amazing audience, but it's been built up over 40, 50 years, and it's, um, as Jerry said, the generations are continuing to enjoy the music. They used to listen to it at home with their parents, and there's a big demographic in the audience. There's, you know, from elderly people to the teenagers. <laughs> What a day it's been. We've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves here in Liverpool. Tommy, have you had a good time? It's been a great day. The sun has shone. People are really enjoying themselves. What a great time you had for a young man on that stage earlier on today. And the crowd were loving your Shanos dancing. Yeah, it's been brilliant. And it's been a real a great opportunity to be here and to be able to perform in front of a crowd like this. It's been fantastic. Well, it's been a lovely day. The sun shone and we've had a great time. And we really hope that you've enjoyed the show at home as well. Now Henry McGlade is back next Thursday evening at 7 o'clock and I'm here at half past 7 with the Irish in the UK, all broadcast on Showcase TV. Both shows are repeated on a Saturday evening between 8 and 9pm. So until next week, from a very sunny Liverpool and from Tommy and myself and Annette behind the camera, see you soon.